My name is Jay Kim. Um, I'm an animator here. I started from 2006 as an animation intern and then animated for uh, six different films, including Monsters University. Um, before I became an animator, I was a medical doctor in South Korea. I lived there about 30 years and then went to the medical school. Uh, and after graduation, I worked as a medical doctor for about a year and a half. And then I quit because um, um, I, I, I was not that passionate about uh, what I was doing. And then I thought that I need to really enjoy it and love to do that uh, to be a good doctor or whatever job you have. So I wanted to find something I can really enjoy and love to do. So I decided to quit and then wanted to find something I want to do. And that's why I came over here to the States um, to study animation and to become an animator. And now I'm, now I'm here as an animator. Um, I'm Dai Tsutsumi. And uh, I grew up in Japan. Uh, I've, been, I've been here at Pixar for six and a half years. Um, I grew up in Japan, and um, I actually didn't really think I would pursue art uh, growing up. I, I was a baseball fanatic, and I wanted to be a baseball player. But you know, as you can see, I'm not physically gifted. And I, it took me a while to realize that I cannot become a baseball player. And when I realized it, uh, it was too late uh, because I didn't really study too much. In, and as you guys may know, Japan is a country where if you don't study, you can't go to college. So I had to leave Japan, and I came here um, without knowing what I wanted to study. Um, and I ended up taking an art class just because I didn't speak English um, enough to take any other courses. To, you know, English, uh, the art and you know, painting and, and music are the only classes I could actually take. And I thought it would be easy easy credit you know, to take uh, painting classes, but there I really fell in love with art. Um, and uh, you probably saw the video footage, and you know, I, was, I, had, I got this compliment I wasn't used to. Japan is not the country where people compliment each other too much, like here. So um, I actually thought I was talented when those old people told me I was talented. But, uh, and I took it seriously, and you know, when you are encouraged, you actually do better, and I just, my passion for baseball got replaced with art, and, and uh, I just kind of poured my 24-7 you know, energy into art ever since. Um, it didn't really, you know, it took me a little while to get to Pixar because I worked at two different studios before I came here. Um, and I kind of initially didn't want to come to Pixar, you know, Pixar being the number one in the industry, you know, at least among ourselves, we said, oh, Pixar is always number one. I wanted to be the underdog and, you know, just challenge Pixar from other studios. And, um, but eventually, I came here. Um, I got an email from Lee Unkrich, who was at a time working on Toy Story 3. And he said he wanted to work with me. So, of course, I, uh, I came here. Um, and, you know, I, I was uh, I was the art director on Toy Story Three and um, on Monsters University. I was the uh, lighting and color art director as well. Uh, my name is John Nevarez, and I'm a sketch artist here. And I uh, came from East LA. Grew up in East LA for uh, most of my life. Spent a little bit of time in Central California with my uh, grandma and grandpa. Um, and I started late. I started in the industry when I was 31. Um, and I actually, uh, I got there late because when I went to school, I was a math major. And I actually, uh, in high school, Jaime Escalante was my uh, math instructor. And it was a great experience. And uh, I got so pumped up for math, I'm like, math is the way to go. And I went in that direction. And then uh, two years later, I flunked out. Uh, I really, I realized math wasn't for me. I, I really, I hated math. And um, before I could actually change gears, um, the counselor said, uh, no, you, you got to go. So it was quite a blow. Um, went back to East LA, went to East LA College for two, uh, two years. And during that time, I was taking drawing classes. And I was doing day jobs. 
Um, and you know, I was working and I was great. You know, I was, I was making money, helping out with rent, helping my mom and my dad. But then I was like, oh, you know, drawing. It's, I, I'm happy. I'm happy drawing. And then, um, you know, so I thought, okay, maybe I can go back as an art major, which I did. Uh, worked at the school newspaper. That was a great experience. And I graduated as an art studio major. But I, it took me a long time. This is about the time that The Lion King came out. And then there was a growing surge of interest for animation. And it took me a while to connect the things where I can actually make a career in animation. And I was like, OK, I would love to do that. You know, you get paid for that? Oh, I'd love, I'd love to do that. But it took me a while to actually get noticed because nobody knows, nobody knew me. And I didn't have the skills for it. You know, I came from life drawing. But I didn't know anything about character design and this and that. So I uh, took a, a while to get in. Uh, a lot of rejection letters, but I eventually got in through uh, Walt Disney TV animation as a trainee doing storyboards. And I didn't know what storyboard was, but I'm like, oh, I'm here. But I learned uh, the long way. In fact, there was a program that had nine students, nine, nine people started the training program, and they had students from all over the country. And what they did was, on paper, it was great. They would teach you storyboarding, life drawing, acting, impro improvisation, film techniques, uh, camera, all this stuff. It was great. And we heard from previous classes, like, it's the way to go. It's like going to film school again. Great. Well, we go in. We're all happy. Three months in, it started in October. We all go to Christmas break. We come back from Christmas break, and they said, you know what? We're folding the program. And, we're, and I was like, huh? We're all like, what? And then one by one, they call us into a room. They, and they pretty much said, out of the nine of you, we can only keep two of you. And I, we were all scared, because like, oh, it's like, you know, like, it's like drawing the short stick, you're going to die, or something like that. So we all go in. I'm number three. And I was actually not supposed to be alive, so to speak. You know, the other two would go on as a trainee doing storyboard revisionist. In other words, that's kind of like grunt work, to have entry level stuff. Um, but the guy, doing the program, Larry Johnson, he went up to bat for me. And he kind of said, you know what? You know, give this guy a shot. You know? And I think he was, he must have been impressed with my drawing. And I'm just thankful and grateful. But he actually gave me a lifeline. And ever since then, they said, OK, you're going to be a storyboard revisionist. I didn't know what storyboard, I barely knew what storyboard was. I didn't even know what a storyboard revisionist was. But basically, you learned on the job. You know, work with the director. And that was my first thing in. And ever since then, that was about 15 years ago, 16 years ago, I've just been lucky to kind of like hold on. And I'm working with artists, asking a lot of questions. You know, story, eventually went to storyboards, uh, eventually went to background design, doing layout, and then doing design. And uh, yeah, prior to coming here, I was at Disney for 11 years. And yeah, I've been here for four years. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been great.